Hi, you're at Hangsters in Daytona Beach, Florida, and today our guest is something kind of out of the realm for us, but uh, the second one we had, but this thing is really over the top uh, restoration-wise. It's a 1969 Volkswagen pickup truck. Uh, kind of a unique vehicle, and uh, we'll go over it, and we'll show you everything that we can uh, point out on it for you, and um, give you some information on uh, uh, the purchase of the vehicle. This thing is really in incredible condition. Um, it had a complete total frame off rotisserie restoration, and there is no frame, so I don't know how you do frame off, but <clears throat> the whole thing's been disassembled. Um, done to the nth degree and then reassembled from scratch again. So I'm going to call it a frame off even though there is no frame, but it is a total rotisserie restoration. Trim around the window, which is normally all discolored and, and, and either that or missing, is still intact and just as nice a fitment as you could ever have, and that is stainless steel also. Uh, correct wiper arms, uh, modern type Anco blades on it, which are new. I'm going to guess this is the correct uh, Volkswagen style antenna. I'm really not well versed with these, but I'm going to guess that the way it's mounted here, it is the correct one, especially the way the rest of this vehicle is done. The chrome around the uh, headlight basils is as sweet as you'd ever want to find. Nice clear parking lights on both sides, and they're kind of unique. They have a, uh, an amber inset with a clear lens cover on it. Kind of unique system there. The chrome on the uh, grill areas for your air intake, not for the engine because it's in the back. I, I found it out on the other one. There was nothing up front, so we found a motor in the back of it. Um, but this is where the air comes in for the uh, passenger compartment uh, for your ventilation system. Obviously, Volkswagen, Volkswagen designation on the front. Uh, again, this uh, headlight rim is just as sweet as the other one. No dents, no chips, no marks. I don't see anything. There's not even a white mark from the wipers on the uh, windshield. Uh, it appears to be a new windshield in it. There's absolutely nothing uh, uh, mark-wise on it. No chips, nothing. Front bumper the same way. No marks or anything on it. Uh, painted white. I'm assuming that that's the way the, uh, uh, the vehicles were produced at that point in time. I'm, I'm sure they didn't have chrome bumpers on them. Uh, at least the pickup trucks, I guess, didn't. But this one has a, uh, it's not a pure white, it's more of a cream white uh, finish on the bumper, which is a real high-end uh, paint also to match the rest of it. Perfect front end of this vehicle. There's not a distortion, not a uh, chip, a mark, a ding, nothing in it. It's absolutely as nice a front end of a vehicle as we would hope to find on a Camaro or an E-body uh, Mopar. Let's do the side, see what we can point out to you there. Okay, driver's side of our uh, Volkswagen pickup truck. Um, stainless steel mirrors, one on each side, left and right, uh, driver's side and passenger. Again, the glass in this thing, I'm just totally amazed that there's no marks or no distortion or no scuffs or anything on it. And I, it has to be the original uh, glass because I don't imagine they still make this stuff, but uh, it, it is as new. There's not a, not a mark anywhere on it, just crystal clear. Trim around the uh, wing area and the rubber area. Uh, just nice and fresh and nice and clean as can possibly be. Uh, steps to get in, I'm assuming, whenever you open the door. Uh, really nice setup, uh, trim around the uh, driver's door. The uh, white whiskers are nice and uh, resilient rubber, just the way they should be, that seal the uh, uh, window from uh, water getting down inside the door, apparently. Uh, I guess we're going to call this a wheel well. Um, Again, you can see the fitment is very, very nice on this. The finish is just incomparable. Very, very nice on it. Chrome on the uh, door handles is as thick as can possibly be. They do have a locking mechanism also on it. Has a, uh, a rear glass that uh, this is all not tinted. It is all clear crystal glass that I can see. All new rubbers mounting the uh, windshield and this uh, backlight also. Again, the cream colored white uh, uh, accented paint uh, on the top to uh, match the wheels and the uh, bumpers on this. It really accentuates it. Gives it a little bit of a break up instead of all uh, forest green. The sides uh, on this particular vehicle, same as the other one we had, uh, you can unlatch them front and back and then they fold down. So you can fold all three sides down, the tail, 
and both sides and actually give yourself a flatbed uh, truck if you're going to haul, um, I, I don't know what you haul, hay, I guess, um, and use it as a, a flat bled, flatbed truck as opposed to an uh, uh, internal bed type truck. Anyway, the size of these uh, fold down panels are just as straight and nice as you'd ever want to have. This thing appears to have a really long bed in it. I don't know what the actual length is. I'm going to say it's at least 8 feet, but I think it's actually a little longer than that. I'm going to give it more like 9 feet, but it is a nice long bed. The size on this thing, you can see the degree of, of care that the person that restored this uh, took in uh, uh, doing this vehicle. Everything is lined up as it should be, very, very straight. Everything painted as nicely as could possibly hope for in any vehicle, whether it's a Camaro or E-Body or Hemi Cuda or whatever it is. Tin everywhere. There's no uh, Bondo in anything. Nothing's been uh, plated over that I can see. Everything is just all uh, tin on the body. Uh, these are the vents, the air intakes, and I think they're on each side uh, for the engine compartment. The engine being in the back, which we'll show you here in a second. Uh, 14 inch wheels, nice chrome hubcaps, uh, domed hubcaps for them, uh, radial tires on it, uh, nice looking vehicle on the sides, there's absolutely no imperfections whatsoever. One thing I did neglect, and it's on both sides, uh, there is an access port, big door, about four feet, four feet long, eh, about a foot and a half high, that folds up and you can access a compartment that is that large, four feet, the entire width of this vehicle. And there's another door to match this one on the other side. So conceivably, you could lift these up and access it from either side, help pull things through or load things or whatever you're going to do with it. But it does have a very big, huge storage uh, compartment underneath the uh, bed of the vehicle. So that's the, um, that's the driver's side. Uh, let's go out back. I know there's a motor back here. I saw one on the last one, so I hope this one has one. It got in here somehow. Um, we'll take a look out back, see what we can find you. Okay, back end of our little VW pick em up truck. Uh, again, you can see that the paint, everything on this thing is just as sweet as could possibly be. Look at this. I mean, the fitment, the finish, the paint, and it appears to be some type of a, an enamel paint. It's a real durable type finish. It doesn't appear to be a base coat, clear coat, or something that would require a lot of care. It almost appears to be acrylic enamel, but very, very well done. Backup lights, uh, that do work too, by the way. Uh, all the trim around the, uh, all the lights on this vehicle is just as it was when it was new. Nice, clear, shiny lenses for your uh, uh, brake light, tail light assemblies. Um, of course, a, a white bumper in the back to match the white bumper up front. And you can see the fitment of everything, even the, uh, I guess we're going to call this a hood. It's a rear hatch, actually, where the uh, uh, engine is housed. But uh, everything is just as nice and straight and clean. The bumper alignment, uh, everything that was done to the nth degree on this particular vehicle. And here we go, big hammer. <coughs> All 47 horsepower. Um, everything's finished, like I said, down to the nth degree engine you can see has been out and completely rebuilt the engine compartment itself there's your battery uh, everything in here is uh, uh, addressed to a very finite degree all the hoses all your uh, fabric hoses your paper hoses everything uh, for your um, air to the uh, engine is all fresh the motor itself coil the ignition system distributor everything appears to have been completely reconditioned uh, to as new. Uh, fantastic engine compartment. I mean, we're lucky to find uh, a lot of the muscle cars with this degree of perfection on an engine compartment, but this guy does have it. There's no question. Very nice car. Truck. Okay, passenger side of our Volkswagen uh, pickup truck. But again, the same as the other side. You can see. All tin. Uh, again, the finish fit everything the same as the other side. Fantastic uh, degree. Look, the gas filler door is almost not there. That's how precisely this is fit onto the body of the car. Fantastic. I'm really amazed at this vehicle. The more 
more attention I pay to it and the longer it takes me to do this video, the more I really uh, uh, admire the, the vehicle itself. Again, the paint on this thing, it's a real durable looking acrylic enamel, it's fantastic paint. The um, other access door that transitions from one side to the other. Lock on this side the same way. I can't find anything. I mean, absolutely nothing. Everything fits as it should. All the, uh, the glass is just absolutely crystal clear. Uh, stainless steel mirrors. Door handle chrome the same way. Fantastic. Side marker. Reflector. No dents, no deviations, no waves, absolutely nothing in this vehicle. Again, steps to get in the vehicle. Uh, we just went over this entire uh, Volkswagen. There are absolutely no chips whatsoever in the paint, no deviations, uh, no apparent repairs that you can see from this side. We'll do an undercarriage presentation uh, to see if we uh, can notice anything there for you. But certainly on the outside of this, this thing appears to be as it left the factory uh, in 1969, 68 it was actually produced. And you'll see, Devin and I are going to show you a bunch of, of um, documentation. I wish we had documentation for a lot of our muscle cars like we do this one. I just uh, uh, looked at it and I had no idea we had this much paperwork for this particular vehicle. We're going to lay it out for you here and kind of briefly go over a little bit of it, but it would take us forever. It would take us more than a presentation just to go over the documentation for this vehicle from the original owner's manuals, original sets of keys, all the paperwork for the restoration, uh, uh, history of the ownership, uh, magazine articles where this uh, uh, vehicle was featured in newspaper articles, uh, more than one. And uh, we'll try to point those out to you. We're going to do an interior presentation on it. It's a 69 Volkswagen pickup truck. Uh, it does have the ability to fold the bed sides down, so you have a flatbed truck at that point out of it. Uh, it has new lumber uh, pieces in the beds, which you're also going to see here shortly. This vehicle is done to the nth degree. It's at Hanksers in Daytona Beach, Florida. And I don't know where you're going to find another one that's equal to this. Even if you do find one, you're not going to find one done to this degree of perfection. You really have to take a look at this if you're in the market for one of these guys because uh, it's got to be one of a kind. Hangsters Daytona. Well, we dropped these bedsides down for kind of a dual purpose. For one, to show you how nice the bed of this vehicle is and to what degree they addressed all the... Uh, I can always call it lumber, but it's uh, pieces of, uh, appears to be oak um, wood that they use as uh, like stringers in this thing. It's all held on by stainless steel fasteners. Everything is done on this vehicle to the nth degree. The other reason we have it down is to present to you, and I wish we had this for a lot of very expensive muscle cars that we have here at Hankster's. This is a complete history of this car from day one. Uh, not only is it a complete history with all the uh, restoration photos and all the uh, uh, articles on the vehicle, but it also has a couple of newspaper articles. Here's one. Um, I know there's a couple more. Here's a second newspaper article in reference to this. Uh, again, all the uh, restoration photos, uh, complete uh, all the number breakdown, everything on the vehicle, when it was produced, where it was sent, uh, everything that you'd hope to find in a muscle car you have in this vehicle. Original sales uh, documentation with the vehicle. The original, not a reproduction, the original owner's manual. and. Uh, radio book. Everything that came in the owner's packet from the factory is still here from 1969 and just as nice and clean a condition that you could ever hope for. Also documentation as to who's owned this vehicle. Uh, we also have the things that really aren't going to matter to you very much. You know the guy did check gas mileage, why I have no idea. Uh, there's also receipts for uh, the mileage for when he changed the oil. Um, Magazine article featuring this vehicle in Hot Volkswagen Magazine. 
and there's the uh, article on this particular vehicle. A complete pile, and you're going to be going through this for a long time, of receipts in reference to the restoration of this vehicle. Original, not reproduction, original paperwork, the original sales brochure from Germany in German on this vehicle. Also the uh, American version of it showing you the uh, vehicle. And this is a complete uh, from Volkswagen on the uh, size of the vehicles and, and dimensions, uh, capacities, everything uh, that the dealer would also give with the vehicle when it was bought new. Again, the same basic thing, just more of it. And again, more Volkswagen uh, uh, brochures in reference to the vehicle. So you have a couple of um, newspaper articles, you have a magazine article, you have a pile of receipts, you have all the original documentation uh, that this was released with uh, in, in Germany whenever the car was released also. Truck. I keep saying car, it's a truck. Um, so you have everything documentation wise including the original owner's manual, um, restoration photos, and guess what? How about the original set of keys with the original fob with it yet? It still The key still has the original plastic sleeve on it yet, the extra key. Never been used. So you have absolutely every piece of documentation that you would hope to have for a Z28 Camaro or a Hemi Cuda you have with this 69 Volkswagen pickup truck uh, in the finest condition that you could ever hope to find one. This vehicle is here at Hangsters. Uh, we did have another one that uh, had a, a double cab, um, certainly not to this condition or with this degree of uh, uh, documentation. We don't have anything that has this degree of documentation. Uh, it's a very, very rare find. I don't know where Kevin got this. I think he got it off the uh, gentleman that uh, is listed here that uh, did this entire uh, restoration, but uh, it's done to the nth degree. It's not something that you can find a duplication of. It's something that uh, uh, you really have to give it some serious consideration if you're in the market for a very special Volkswagen. And that's what you got here at Hangsters in Daytona Beach, Florida. Well, you're at Hangsters in the interior of the finest 1969 Volkswagen pickup truck in existence today. There can't be another one nicer than this. There just absolutely cannot be. Headliner, tight as a drum, no brakes or marks on the steering wheel whatsoever, absolutely none. Uh, it does have a, a series of gauges. It has a uh, clock, it has a fuel gauge, it has a speedometer, it has a oil pressure gauge, it has a cylinder head temperature gauge, and an amp gauge. It has a Volkswagen original radio in it. All the knobs are nice and clean and fresh as they should be. It has a, um, I guess I'm going to call it plastic. This is tin up here, but this is a kind of a plastic uh, padded area, uh, if you want to call it a padded dash. But where the uh, windshield and the dashboard transition together, it is absolutely positively as clean as it was the day it was new. Again, the uh, sun visors are the same way. They're the original equipment sun visors uh, with the original molding on them yet. Um, interior, the glass is so crystal clear in this vehicle that you cannot tell it's even there. Your uh, door, chrome everywhere, your handles, everything on this vehicle is just as it was when it was new. The kick panel, the same as it would have been when it was new. Uh, you don't have to worry about a Tremec 5-speed uh, in this one. It's definitely a little uh, Volkswagen 4-speed uh, transmission in it. Parking brake, still operational. Ah, oh, jeez. Heater still functional. The interior of this vehicle is absolutely, absolutely done to the nth degree. The pleated seats are sewn and padded just the way they should be. It has a full complement of seat belts in it for the center passenger, also shoulder belts uh, on each side for the passenger and um, for the driver. Original type uh, rubber floor mat, no wear whatsoever on the clutch and brake pedal uh, or gas pedal. Uh, everything on this vehicle is as new. There's no way that you can tell this vehicle is not a brand new 1969 Volkswagen. There's absolutely no way that you could differentiate it from that.
glove compartment still functional and uh, we do have uh, all the uh, paperwork for this vehicle also which uh, uh, Devin and I just did a uh, presentation for I can't imagine there could be another one of these anywhere this is absolutely I'm very impressed with this and it takes a lot to impress me with a Volkswagen but I'm really impressed with this vehicle to the degree of uh, restoration that was done on this uh, it, it, it's just totally overwhelming the amount of time and effort that someone set forth to bring a vehicle to this degree. Um, it's one of a kind. You really need to take a look at this, especially the documentation that goes along with this vehicle here at Hangsters in Daytona Beach. Right, let's see. We have a turn signal that works to the right. Turn signal works to the left. The uh, amp gauge working. Temperature for the uh, cylinder heads coming up, I'm sure. We just started it up. Oil pressure holding real nice. There's 40, there's about 50, 50 some pounds of pressure. Uh, radio, that is the original radio for this vehicle. And light comes on, but the radio is not uh, making any racket there for us. I don't know. But at least the light comes on. We have wipers that work. We have a horn that does not work. Uh, there's not much else there. Um, gas gauge shows us between a quarter and a half, so it's functioning. Speedometer will show us in a little bit here what we're doing. I don't think we're going to break any land speed records with this thing, but we're going to go for a ride. The uh, clock in the dash is not working either. So, let's go for a ride in this guy and see what we got. I'll tell you what, amazing amount of power out of 47 horsepower. The speedometer working as it should. We're up to a blistering 40 at this point. We're in fourth gear. Go straight as an arrow down the road here. I'll let go over this second here. But, um, oh, gotta aim it at the right direction. Go straight as an arrow. Alright, let's try brakes, no hands. Brakes, no hands. Oh, the guy behind me is getting a little upset. I better put another gear and get going. smooth, quiet running vehicle. Nice and solid. No rattle shakes, nothing whatsoever. Nice uh, positive steering in it. Um, nice vehicle. Oh, boy, that motor's not working. Maybe I'm just not doing it right. Maybe it's somewhere else. It doesn't feel like that's a hard button. It must be somewhere else. But I don't know. up a little bit, see what we got. Nice solid, good sounding motor. We're in third gear wide open. We're up to 45. Tell you what, this thing runs very, very well. Nice solid car, great sounding engine in it. Got a little bit of this wind noise down. Nice tight vehicle. Um, tracks just as nicely as you'd ever want. Uh, more than ample power, believe it or not, with less than 50 horsepower in it. Yet this thing will run all day long at, uh, I'm sure, 50, 60 mile an hour. Um, nice vehicle. You set up high in it. The uh, steering wheel is actually more like a school bus or something, I guess, you know, but it, it's a nice large wheel. Instrumentation is very visible in it. Uh, cylinder head temperature is coming up now, as you can see. So all the gauges function in this vehicle as they should. So 
nice running, uh, nice running truck. Very high quality, very high end truck. The way this thing's been uh, uh, restored, plus the documentation and paperwork that goes with this, it's just incomparable to find something uh, with this much documentation this old. Brakes work just as nice as can be. There's real tall pedal in it. Uh, there's no sponginess whatsoever in it. Hi, we're underneath our 1969 Volkswagen truck. I'm really impressed with this thing. And it, you know, I look at a lot of muscle cars and a lot of cars that have been done, uh, rotisserie restorations and everything, and uh, at first I saw this, I laughed about it, but this thing is done as uh, equal to any uh, uh, rotisserie frame off complete restoration uh, job that uh, I've ever seen. The, the paint on the outside, the undercarriage, the uh, engine compartment, everything in this car is absolutely like new. We're going to go over a few things and there's just a few things under here. Other than that, there's just a big massive a bunch of floor that uh, and we'll show you, and Devin has a slew of uh, uh, still photographs, high resolution, that you can examine and take a look at it. But I'll just point out whatever I can. Um, drum brakes in the front, looks like new shocks. The pans uh, on the front floor, um, everything is just totally undisrupted. The frame sections themselves, which are stamped steel by the looks of it. Can't see what that sunlight in my eyes. Um, box frame in the front going into a C channel going back into another box in the back. The uh, insulating uh, material that they use to go around the tube, the transition from the rear of the engine from the heater boxes to the front to the uh, passenger compartment is all intact and still just as nice and fresh as could possibly uh, be expected. Uh, the uh, brake lines going toward the back appear to be all original and in excellent condition. Uh, parking brake cables the same way. All the steering gear appears to be all new. Tie rod ends. Uh, and this is, I imagine, the uh, steering stabilizer. Does have an added sway bar in the front also. There's a horn underneath the uh, chassis. That's unusual. Usually all the horns are on top. Volkswagen, for whatever reason, has chosen to put it underneath the uh, driver's side uh, uh, nose of this vehicle. Pan in the front, no dents, no dings whatsoever. Again, this whole floor section, we'll do this real quick because there's nothing here except floor section and uh, a C-channel frame. There are no dents, no perforations, no deviations whatsoever. All the crossbars, which are about, I want to call them a foot apart, we'll say 12 inches apart. And uh, the main structural part of the frame, again, C-channel, um, it stops at a box frame right there. A main structural box part going here, then a uh, uh, a structural piece for the uh, floor pan, another foot away, another one, and then a real strong one right about there. Then we're back into uh, another big C-channel section. Um, a torsion uh, type suspension in this vehicle. It does have uh, uh, all the originality that you could ever hope to find on these things. I, I can't imagine that there could be a, a, a straighter, nicer one in existence anywhere. Uh, that's kind of a quick trip down from the front to the back. Uh, we'll get the engine here in a second. We can show you, and uh, that'll pretty much finish us up under here. You'll have a ton of still photos to uh, examine to see the uh, uh, close-up of everything under the undercarriage. Okay, the second half or last third of our uh, uh, Volkswagen truck. Again, you can see the transaxle. There's no leaks whatsoever. Uh, the torsional type suspension that they have in the back is just as nice and fresh as you'd ever want. The, the CV joints are very, very nice. Uh, no leaks or anything evident on them. Drum brakes in the back, new shocks in the back. Again, the heater boxes, and most of these are all rusty and corroded and, and distorted in one way or another. These are not. These are just the way they would have left the factory um, <clears throat> in, 19, uh, in the 60s. It's a little diggy here. A stone or something through the years has come back and hit that. A little tiny dent in the heater box. Certainly nothing to compromise its ability to uh, transfer heat up to the front. Uh, 47 horsepower, uh, horizontally opposed, four-cylinder engine. 
that Volkswagen used through the years that just been totally bulletproof for them. A little tiny bit of drip of an oil here. I think it's from the uh, oil being changed, actually. That's where it's coming out of. So I'm going to say that that's where it is. It's not enough to drip, but there is a little bit of wetness there uh, from oil. The original style mud flaps in the rear with the Volkswagen uh, insignia on it. Again, the um, uh, transverse uh, muffler in the back with a little tiny resonator that goes out into about a one inch exhaust pipe and all that is also uh, nice and fresh and clean just like new. Uh, the uh, back pans and, and pans around the engine everything is just nice and fresh as you'd ever want. The rear bumper doesn't even have any corrosion on the inside of it. This thing is as new uh, a Volkswagen that you will ever find. It's as new as any vehicles you will ever find. Um, you have to take a look at this. It's on a Hangster's website in Daytona, and I'm sure it's the only one in the country to this degree. And it does have a lot of uh, paperwork and documentation from day one up until now, and some magazine articles and newspaper articles in reference to this vehicle also. Uh, we make a, a good, valid effort to show you everything that we can on these vehicles, uh, both uh, you know cosmetically and outside the, the uh, engine compartment, the uh, uh, undercarriage, just everything that we can show you, but we really encourage everyone to take a run down. We can put this up on a rack, you can stand underneath here with me, and we can go over everything together. We can drive the vehicle, we can walk around it together, you know, I'd be proud to show you the vehicle in person. So we do encourage everyone to come down, try to do the best we can with these video presentations to give you a good representation of what the vehicle is. Again, a lot of things that I see and I, I accept as being over the top and, 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 and just as nice as could possibly be. To someone else, it may not be that degree. So, uh, and I think I'm pretty picky. You know, I've played with a lot of exotics all my life, and you know, this stuff is. Uh, if I tell you it paints nice on a car, it's usually pretty damn nice. So, take a run down Hangsters, Daytona Beach, Florida, and we'll show you everything we have. Ready?